The following is for 2011, Math 115, Test 3, number 29. We are given this uh, graph here, and note that the figure is not drawn to scale. Part A, find the equation of line A. This is line A. You have the x-intercept is negative 2, 0, and the, the y-intercept is 0, 1. What I will do uh, for the equation uh, line A, uh, the y-intercept is 0, 1, and the slope will be, you see, if I start from here to go to the other point, I go up one unit, and I run two units. Right? That's the slope. Therefore, the equation of line A will be y equals 2, uh, 1 half x plus 1. Okay, now let's see the equation of line B. Line B has the y-intercept is 0, 2, and the slope is from this point here, I go down 2 units, means there's negative 2, and I run 5 to the right. That means the y, the equation of line B is given by negative 2 fifth x plus 2. That's the slope intercept form. Okay? Now, part C, find the intersection of those lines. Basically, the question is what is the coordinate here? Now, notice that because this uh, figure is not drawn to scale, then we cannot uh, just uh, uh, read it from there, especially we don't have the grids to read from. Now, what I will do then to find the, the intersection by solving this equation here. Intersection of the lines is equal to the solution for the system of equations that makes those lines. Okay, so the intersection here of these two lines is the solution for the system of equations that gave you those two lines. Basically, I need to solve this. Okay, now how to solve that? Because uh, one variable solve for uh, one equation already solve for one variable. Actually, both equations solve for one variable. Then I will say equation one equals to equation two on the y. Okay, so uh, maybe I say equation one goes to equation two. My equation two looks like this, and I will replace the y here by the y in equation one. Okay, now the next thing I will do uh, is to solve this. Then let's see how do we solve this. Uh, let me do a uh, conventional method. So I will move this here and I will move this there. 1 half x plus 2 fifth x equals to 2 minus 1. To add these like terms, I need common denominator 5 over 10 x plus 4 over 10 x equals to 1. So 9 over 10 x equals to 1 x equals to 1 times 10 over 9, which is uh, 10 over 9. But that gives me the x. How to find the y? Then I will plug it into either one of the equation there. Seems like the first equation is easier. y equals to 1 half x plus 1. That's equation 1. And I will plug in uh, substitute the x by 10 over 9. That will give me cross cancel here, right? We have 5 over 9 plus 1. y equals to 5 over 9 plus 9 over 9. y equals to 14 over 9. Okay, so the intersection will be xy given by <coughs> 10 over 9, comma. 14 over 9. Now, in other words, if I go back to that picture here, then the coordinate of this intersection is given by 10 over 9, 
14 of a line okay that's for for 2011 math 115 test 3 number 29